Before jumping into the video, I don't know what that was. What's up, y'all? Megan back. What's up, y'all? It's Nicki Minaj. Roaches! Another video. <laughs> Nobody cares about me. <laughs> I'm doing a fashion, a fashion inspired video, a lookbook one could call. I've been getting a lot of these types of videos recommended to me so I thought I would try it by myself. This particular video is inspired by Miss Katie Yu. I've been subscribed to her for a while and I love her. This is supposed to be like a super fun lookbook. Please don't get mad at me and comment hateful things because it doesn't match or you don't like the outfit if you're that major. This is just my take on it. It's just supposed to be a lookbook for fun so Please, I don't want any hate comments because I mentally cannot take that and I will cry. But you know, if you like any of these looks from the look book, from the look book, I need to not do that. If you like them, please take them because as my girl said, who wants to look simple? It's, you know, I mean, who wants to look, you know, simple when you can look stunning? So without further ado, Subscribe if you're new and let's get into the look book. The look book. Yep, yeah, just let's go. And this is criminal law 100, or as I prefer to call it, how to get away with murder. <sighs> Wish me luck, Bruiser. This is my first class as a serious law student. Totally look the part. In my way. Well, according to Pinterest and almost all Google images I could find, law students have an unrequited love for plaid. Apparently, they're all sponsored by Burberry or they just have a weird fetish with Elle from Legally Blonde. Either way, lots and lots of plaid. I don't really hate it though, this is a very standard, dark, academia look. I paired the pants with a black turtleneck because you know we be yelling so much in court we need to protect our necks, metaphorically and literally. But I also paired it with a tan coat to break the black and white gradient. I don't know, law students deserve some color too, right? I'm an architect. Oh. I'm an architect. <laughs> an architect, Stephen. He's into architecture. Look, why couldn't you make me an architect? <laughs> you know I always wanted to pretend that I was an architect. Well, isn't an architect <laughs> just an art school dropout with a tilty desk and a big ruler? <laughs> it's called a T-square. <laughs> architect okay so i put together this outfit from an amalgamation of google images pinterest photos and literal buildings yes you heard me right we get an all construction worker up in here i'm wearing a turtleneck knit poncho that is asymmetrical to highlight the angles you can find in architecture i paired it with a brown corduroy pant and a big chunky black bag the dichotomy between the elements reminds me of a highly intricate building that people would definitely be staring at. So yes, I am saying I want people to stop and stare at the hot mess that is me. Cosmo, I've been wanting to work there for as long as I can remember. You ever worked in corporate strategic planning? Of course. I've worked in all three. You're gonna make visuals. You should make them visual. To get the job done. We're gonna run everything through one person. Lane. Beauty and the briefcase. Oh, this chair is perfect. Okay, well, enjoy your chair.
your career. And lots of video, audio, whatever you can grab. <gasps> Oh my god, did you guys hear? That's fake news! I am just kidding, the only current story I have is how ugly I look. According to all the images I could find in all the movies, journalism majors need to be wearing fashionable yet comfortable clothes so they can dig up all the dirt necessary while also falling in love with their prince charming. I am wearing a plaid skirt and a knit sweater with a pink colored shirt underneath peeking through. I also made sure to wear tights so you know if I'm running around nobody gotta see that particular headline if you know what I mean. Google. You got us a job at Google? Not a job job. It's an interview for an internship that could lead to a job. Find the bug. Why don't the two of you guys right now go and find the program? Okay, we should check the user report. Scan the logs for any red flags. See what exceptions were thrown. I always start by drawing up strategies to sift through the code. Eureka! Bug like fly. The fly! Is Teddy a cinephile? Goldblum. Goldblum! Goldblum. He's gonna move on. Alright, back to work, guys. <laughs> I can't come out you guys, I have to finish off my code. Silly goose, what did you think I was, a finance major? That literally was a joke. Fun fact, I majored in IT, so I kind of know how things roll. As for my outfit, Pinterest and Google thinks there's a lot of jackets, jeans, and Converse going on. I opted for more of a grout fit. I'm wearing a sweatshirt that has an attached collar on it and then some gray sweats paired with a giant long plaid overcoat. I think this honestly gives me like Hailey Bieber vibes, but I'm not really sure if she codes. So for this video, let's just say I'm the new Hailey Bieber. Look at the jukebox for a second. When I think of teachers, I think of two things. Jessica Day. Justice Brandeis believed that when uh, education's principal foster everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sweeping gesture with your hands, like such. Everyone do it with me. Shut it down. No thank. Bye, Sarah. See you at school. Bye, Bye Uli, you really. Bye, Jess. Uh, student teachers, where to begin? Google and Pinterest have very specific tastes for you with a lot of colors and patterns. I wore this blue midi skirt and a green halter top. I also am wearing a sweatshirt. Yes, a sweatshirt on top. Because I've seen this type of look actually a lot on Instagram and I think it's kind of trendy. I wore a thin scarf because I think it gives off very like 2000s, early 2000s vibes, Y2K vibes, which is also very trendy right now. And we're back from the lookbook. From the look, I told myself I was not going to do that and I still did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I can definitely do more parts or honestly more types of videos like these if you guys want to see that. Please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's all. Awkwardly saying bye now.